The mobile phone is one of our most used devices that we spend way too much time on. What if I told you we can use them to increase productivity rather than hinder it? Today I'm going to show you 5 apps that I use day to day that really improve my productivity as a student after spending lots of time fine tuning and finding the best app possible with real results so you don't have to. Hey guys, I'm Will and welcome to my channel where I intersect realistic productivity and tech talk. I've always been a huge fan of tech and finding the best quality apps that I actually use day to day to improve my lifestyle and productivity, so I thought I'd be an expert to make this video. The first app we're going to cover is called TimeCap. It's one that I've recently started using and fell in love with. In 2021, I've started several new habits, and so I definitely needed a way to keep myself accountable and track progress. It's basically the perfect habit tracking app for me, and I've tried several others to compare and find the best fit. It offers a combination of good customization and functionality, combined with a pretty clean UI which makes it very enjoyable to use. You basically create various habits which can be based off time, one-off activities, or based off how many repetitions you do of the activity, and then you choose whether or not it's a goal or a limit, meaning you don't want to do the task. My favorite aspect about TimeCap is the custom period for each activity, as some apps force you to only have daily habits, whereas now I can add the count for weekly gym activities, for example. There's also additional pro functionality, which adds several nice looking graphs and infographics, which helps consolidate some nice statistics and information to help you marvel at how productive you've been. An alternative habit tracking app that I started off with is called Sparkle, which has a relatively more straightforward, albeit simple UI, but I think the most important aspect of habit tracking is to actually track your habits and get in the habit of doing so. So find whatever app suits you. Another app that saves me a lot of time studying is Anki, which is my flashcard app of choice. I can go ahead and confidently say that Anki single-handedly raised my GPA by at least a grade or two while studying for similar amounts of time. It's that powerful. Flashcards are a great way to get some quick revision done in small amounts of time, and they follow the principle of space repetition and active recall to really improve your memory. The best thing about Anki is it's cross-platform across Mac, Windows, and Android, so you can sync your flashcards to be used wherever you are. Anki does have a bit of a steep learning curve compared to some other apps, and the interface doesn't look the best. So you can always get started with a more straightforward app, such as Quizlet, which is also cross-platform, and I would recommend it. Overall, using a flashcard app offers surprising value for the amount of time that you invest in it and having long-term memory retention is really helpful and useful when you're a student, so it's definitely worth checking out if you're not already using one. Next, let's move on to Forest. Forest is basically a gamified Pomodoro app. You set a timer on it and it grows an aesthetic looking tree in your forest. Over the duration of your timer, it grows whilst preventing you from exiting the app. If you do, your tree dies which basically acts as a punishment to deter you from just getting distracted and offers a pleasant visual experience showing your progress for the month or year or week. If you're not familiar with the Pomodoro technique, it is essentially a study method that revolves around setting a timer between 20 to 40 something minutes before having a small set break in between. It's a much better alternative to trying to study for three hours straight and getting distracted after, where you're much less likely to start again. I liked using this app so much, I even paid for the premium version to get more tree designs. It has a minimal and nice looking aesthetic and works well for what it aims to set out to do. One extra tip I have for you is to turn on do not disturb mode while you're on forest so you don't get tempted at all when notifications come in since you're not aware of them and therefore you can't kill your tree. Another habit that I picked up this year and highly recommend is to read more. Now, a lot of people already know the positive impacts reading can have, or they want to read more but they don't have the time since they're busy reading their existing class readings or doing homework. So Headway helps this by condensing popular self-help books into bite-sized versions that you can consume quickly. Sometimes if the book summary seems compelling enough, I even end up buying and reading the full version of the book. The app allows you to save highlights for each book summary as well. So you can go ahead and look at nice quotes to remind you what you're reading about, since it's so hard to have a good memory these days. It also allows you to listen to the summaries like an audiobook if you want to give your eyes a rest. 
Overall, I found this app definitely makes me feel more productive even if I'm not because I can tell myself I read two books in the span of half an hour and it barely cost any effort. So I extracted some pretty important concepts and messages from the authors pretty easily for a small chunk of time. Even though this might not be considered authentic productivity, doing this first thing in the morning gives a real sense of achievement to start your day right and motivated, which can really snowball into a real productive day. Lastly, another app that I started using this year, Headspace. This app is something that I picked up alongside the habit of meditation, which I also track in Sparkle, and is one that I can't recommend enough to my friends. I've already gone through two of their beginner courses, and I'd say after a week or two of 10 minutes a day of meditations, I can definitely feel a difference in my day-to-day -day life. Let me tell you why meditating and sitting there doing nothing is actually productive. Everyone knows meditation is just sitting there by yourself with your thoughts, which may seem daunting, but to me, it actually made me more productive because when I sit there alone with my thoughts, I'd just be thinking, what should I really be doing now? And by the time the 10 minutes was up, I couldn't really hide away and procrastinate anymore because I'd be forced to confront what I need to get done. Over time, your mind actually clears up and declutters all the thoughts in your head, and it really helps you prioritize and be more calm and less anxious in your day-to-day. -day. Headspace is pretty expensive though, but I do think their beginner courses are quite valuable, so I'd recommend trying it for a solid week, and if you feel no difference, then maybe you don't need it. It's pretty easy to use and has a very polished and clean UI, which I always appreciate. So I definitely recommend this for beginners to start meditating. Although there are quite a few meditation apps out there and they all serve similar purposes. So you can't get wrong with them. Thanks for watching until the end of the video. This is the third video on my channel and I'm starting to get into the groove of making videos. But I always appreciate if you leave any feedback you may have or any questions. I have other videos aimed at students for how to study as well as an iPad review at the moment, but I also have heaps of content planned out so stick around and subscribe if you're interested in quality content related to tech and productivity. I'll see you later.